Hi guys, this is Wirehead King, and today I'm continuing my tutorial series on creating this scene here. Uh, in this part, we're going to be creating um, m even more plants, specifically this plant over here. There's not uh, we've got uh, the same plant or the same type of plant over here, um, but it's a bit harder to see because there's ferns in the way. But it's basically these uh, sort of like these very big strands of grass that sort of go everywhere. Um, and yeah, we're going to be creating that. So it's really quite simple to make uh, if you again if you know how to do it it's quite simple it doesn't really take long to master okay and uh, the way we're going to do it is simply by you know like we started most of our plants we're going to add a plane and then if we press GY and then control move it up here oh we need to do that in edit mode and we're just going to scale it in a bit like that on the x-axis and move it up on the y-axis that might be a bit longer, in fact no it's not longer uh, wait. yeah let me just bring it there or something because uh, otherwise it might be a bit long okay and we're just going to add a few loop cuts here and selecting the middle one, turning on proportion editing and just scaling it out like that okay and then scaling this one in like that and then adding in a loop cut in the middle just selecting these three ones in the middle and just turning off proportion editing and dragging them down or up um, I think down might look better or should we even do that step no let's not even do that step that's just pointless okay um, and we're gonna select the end vertice here uh, with proportion editing turned on again and begin rotating it like that and that just make it a bit curved Need to be a bit more curved than that. Uh, let's just try that again, actually, from the start. Okay, uh, yeah. Okay, something like that. And we're gonna turn on smooth shading. So press T and press smooth in this thing here. And now uh, that's looking okay. We might just add a sub uh, subdivision surface on the top of that just to make it look a bit smoother. Yeah, something like that. How many vertices is that? Too many. Yeah, okay, let's just leave it at a uh, level of 1. Apply that, and then. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, uh. Hmm. That cut in the middle, should we have that? Uh, well, I suppose it's there now, so we may as well create that little ridge. And that's obviously there because of the uh, subsurface modifier doing its thing, so. Just Give that a little uh, lip at the top there or something. And now, uh, what we can do is move this over here. And we're going to add a UV sphere. And where are we? Okay, we're going to set the segments down to 8 and 8 like that. And cut it in half. And also shrink it down uh, from the 3D cursor like that and also scale out this bit at the end uh, with proportional editing turned on uh, yeah scale on the z axis like uh, no not z axis the no just scale it out and okay something like that so it's not quite as and now turn off proportional editing and scale it out okay and give it smooth shape I'm not even this object's not even going to be here at the end of it all so I don't have to worry about that really uh, oh, I also need to give this a material, so this will be um, grassy leaf or something, I don't know. Make this green, dark green. Uh, specularity, stay at 0.5, hardness, going to be 250. And uh, yeah, we're going to UV unwrap this onto uh, a plant of some sort. So gonna open up uh, more textures go to plants and leaves and we're gonna use um, this one here or uh, yeah this grass thick one here now again I got this from the Nature Academy uh, I recommend you sign up that it's kind of expensive but it's worth it okay so uh, yeah I recommend you sign up to that and uh, but you know if you don't want to or you can't afford it or whatever then you can just go to cdtextures.com for a free account and 
download your textures there, you'll have 15 megabytes of texture every day, so it's hardly unfair. Uh, you know, it's, sorry, it's not like you're limited that much. So, okay, so we can go to uh, you and then project from view here and just give it one of these ones, this one for example. Just scale it up like that, and you know, doesn't have to be perfect, just so that the middle sort of lines up with the middle on our plant or our leaf whatever they're probably wondering why I'm getting grass as a leaf it's because this leaf looks a lot like grass as in like really big chunky strands of grass okay uh, so something like that looks good I might just get rid of that pale end by just moving that up like that okay so that's not too bad uh, I'm gonna go to the textures now add a new texture image or movie uh, grassy leaf uh, where are we grassy leaf color like that and I'm going to open uh, I don't have to open it up actually we've already got it so grass thick green like that it's already been pre-multiplied because uh, we did it over in here and one thing I might just do is lower the brightness a bit and increase the contrast just and maybe the saturation actually as well and uh, maybe, uh, yeah, okay, that looks good. Just because it looked a bit too washed out for my liking in uh, that thing. Okay, so now that we've got that, uh, yeah, uh, we can see if we just go to this 3D cursor thing here by moving back to the median point. You can see we now have this object here. And I'm going to call this um, grass leaf. Okay, and now that we've done that, if we. Oh, yeah, we also need to give this the UV coordinates and that will just do that, okay, that's lovely and over here on this object over here, the sphere we're going to add a new particle system and we're going to set it to hair and you can see how that's looking, we only really want uh, oh yeah, if we give it advanced settings, we only really want about uh, the 50 or something and we're going to go down to render, set the object and uh, what do we call this again? We called it grass, grassy leaf, was it? No, just grass leaf, okay. So grass leaf, and you can now see that they are now spawning out of this, okay. So I'm going to increase the size, and mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Let's also uh, rotate this around in ways. Oh yeah, we also need to come down here and tick rotation and okay now when we rotate this by okay, you know, in certain ways we can play around with it so if we rotate it on the y axis by 90 degrees and then on the x axis by 90 degrees like that uh, you can see how that's working and now if we go to rotation just tick that uh, come down here tick normal and Increase the phase and the random, whatever. Okay, uh, I think I. In edit mode, if we just press S, Y, minus 1, then move it back to its origin points. Ah, okay, let's try that again actually. Uh, deselect the origin point and then press S, Y, minus 1, and then just move it over to make it a bit more natural because it's all got it the wrong way around over here. And I also might just make it a bit fatter as well. So, select it and press S, Z now, and then just make it sort of fatter like that. And yeah, there we go. And, I might just add, maybe make, make it 100 or something. Okay, and also going to increase the random size. And this is not looking good, I might just make it longer then. Uh, longer than over here longer. Uh, Okay, and then move it up. And yeah, maybe I should have added more vertices to this. So I'm going to add a subdivision surface on top, like that. Maybe make it three or something. Okay, and still not looking that great. Just apply that, and then you go to edit mode, and then there we go. Go to edit mode, come out, and then it just resets the particles like that. And. Okay, might just in fact that's it's looking okay. Uh I'm gonna do is just scale it 
down along some of its axes. Okay, go back to the 3D cursor thing now and just shrink it like that. Okay, now it's looking a bit more packed full of these things and also going to add a bit more of a curve to it at the end. So, uh, go back to the median point, select the end vertices, turn on proportion editing and rotate like that. Okay, and drag it down like that. Okay, and you can see now we're getting somewhere. It's not as good as the first time, uh, but hmm. Oh, maybe we if we add uh, two particle systems, that might do something. So if we lower this back down to 50, and then make it only really affect the top vertices over here. So if we add a vertex group to it. Uh, call this particles one, and then assign it. And I get the other vertices by pressing Control I. Add another vertex group. Call it particles two, and assign that. Then, yeah, you can see where this is going. Well, I hope you can anyway. Uh, with this, uh, just go down to vertex groups, and under density, uh, choose particles one. Maybe just lower the number. Bit. In fact, no, don't, I'm not going to bother lowering the number further. Okay, um, now, uh, in fact, let's see, let's try this thing actually. Let's just try and, uh, without proportion editing, uh, rotate them. Uh, oh, yeah, we're not in edit mode, rotate them along the y axis a bit. There we go. And along the x axis, that needs to be a bit fixed as well. So. We get that rope. Hmm. Yeah, something like that. Still not looking that great though. Oh, here we go on the Z axis. That just improves that. I don't actually think we need a second particle system now. That's looking okay. Uh, yeah, let's not add another particle system. Let's just get rid of the uh, fact. No, uh, just increase the amount back up to 100. And there we go, we've got that plant. Um, might just do a tiny bit more, in fact, I don't want to risk it. Um, okay, so let's just select this, and under velocity, just increase the Z amount, that's not going to do anything. Uh, okay, let's just decrease the size a bit, so go to physics, there, and the size, just bit smaller, random size, increase it a bit more. Okay, and yeah, that's looking done. So we just duplicate this now, and uh, we can just inc uh, change the seed here. So we have them you know, coming out of different areas, and maybe just get rid of a few. So we set to 90. Oh wait, uh, no, bring it to 100, and then just uh, check that two there, and then set it to 90 so it doesn't affect the other one. All right, so it's similar numbers, just I mean, 80 actually, okay, and duplicate this, press this 2, and we're sort of doing that thing with, uh, that we did with the shrouds, maybe increase it to 120 this time, seed 2, okay, um, yeah, uh, we can just, you know, we can make a few of these, I'm going to make 5 like I did with the shrubs, uh, press that 2, seed 3, and press, adjusting the seed doesn't really matter if you can affect the numbers, and this time I might actually just play around with some of these settings, so the size maybe, uh, no, no I don't want to play around with them. Yeah, just play around with the numbers, so maybe 150, so quite a dense plant, and then duplicate it, press this 2, increase the seed, and set it to, uh, you know, something small like 50. Okay, and now we have got all of these. However, uh, we can't have a particle system because these plants are going to be particle systems. Uh, we can't have a particle system for plants um, if uh, you know if there are particles uh, that are making. Uh, basically, it will just make these spheres. It won't actually have the particle systems on it. So what we're going to need to do is convert these particle systems. So now uh, we have got you know these all these little separate plants uh, or leaves into the uh, the full thing okay so just convert them all and then get rid of the sphere objects 
like that. Uh, convert, and go to the sphere. And convert, and get rid of the sphere. Okay, so now that we've got all of these, uh, we can also get rid of this now, we don't need that. Uh, yeah, what we're going to do is just select all of these, join them up. Might take some time though, apparently. Control J. Oh, dear me, what just happened here? Uh, oh yeah, we need to uh, change the object date, so just select all of these like that. Then press that, and then Control J, like that. Uh, otherwise, it just, I don't know why, but it just looks funny, so... Select all of these, tick, uh, press this 450 up here, Control J, and then just keep doing that, like that, okay, and then, wait, hang on, oops, right, A, hang on, uh, active object is not a selected mesh, right, so, okay, oh, here we go, um, 300, and then Control J, and select these, and just hold shift and click on one of them click on that then and control J and just keep doing that uh, for however many you have okay and control J right so now we've got these nice plants here uh, although things might I don't know if they're uh, no that's fine okay so yeah I might just select them all and press control N and I'll just recalculate the normals. I don't know if it's actually doing anything though. It probably is and I'm just being paranoid or something. Okay, so now I've got these plants here, uh, but they're gonna look a bit strange if they've got nothing on the uh, the inside of them. In fact, would they? Mm. Nah, they're fine. Okay, so let's just name these now. So, uh, grass plants, or grassy plants uh, one, and like I did with the shrubs, I'm just going to copy that name apart from the one bit. Uh, okay, grassy plant. Press Control C, and then enter that. And then just click on this, and then Control V. Oh, two and three, four and five. Okay, so that's looking good now. I uh, hope that was easy for you to follow. I mean, I had a bit of troubles doing it, so I don't know what troubles you got into, but you know, generally it's uh, you know just play around with the rotation of the, the uh, grass that we, we made the the object that was controlling it all, and uh, that would just help you out a bit. Okay, so let's just space these around, so you know, get them looking nice. Now this, of course, isn't the the forest scene we're going to make. This is just to you know just have a bit of fun with placing them around and make it look like a nice sort of uh, natural area. Okay, so now we're even closer to the finish. Uh, we just need to make maybe one or two more plants, I don't know. And then we are ready to move on to other stuff. Okay, so thanks for watching uh, this uh, tutorial series. Uh, this is probably the longest part yet. Uh, wait, no, it's not yet anyway. Um, Okay, so thanks for watching, uh, and I hope to see you uh, in the future tutorials. So, thanks for watching, and goodbye.